Welcome back to another exciting Inkscape tutorial on the CPA channel. Today we will be creating this tennis net, a grid on the tennis net, as you can see over here. I've already done. All right. So let's get started. I'm gonna use the rectangle tool. Okay. So I'm gonna start with the rectangle tool. Okay, after which I'm gonna duplicate the rectangle. I just pressed I've just pressed Ctrl D to duplicate the rectangle. Right. So I'm gonna stick to the color yellow because it's bright and cheerful. Okay, now here comes the trick. We can go to extension, render, grid. Now the settings here, the line width is 1. For the spacing, I've set over here to 50 and vertical spacing to 50. Should we set the setting to a smaller setting? You will have a very small grid like grid. Okay, so the spacing is at 50 and 50. So I'm just going to apply here. I have set, I've chosen the rectangle shape. I'm going to apply. And I'm just going to close this now. So there I have it. The rectangle grid all's done now um, perhaps I shall go to stroke the bottom here on the left side I'm gonna adjust the stroke size to say 10, 10. let's see what happens 10 shouldn't be blocking here I'm gonna close this okay I'm gonna have a thicker grid right okay so now what has happened here is that we have created a grid in stroke, right? These are not shapes, so I am going to convert this grid into a path. So I'm just going to up here to path, stroke to path. So I'm going to click it. So I've converted to the path, path, stroke to path. Okay, it's done. Now I'm going to keep a copy. I'm gonna now this shape the rectangle also at the moment I cannot use the shape tool this is the second of the shape tool on the rectangle so I'm gonna pick object to path notice I've clicked over here pick tool object to path click right I'm gonna path object to path so now the shape has been turned into a path I'm gonna use a shape tool now I can click over here you see I've just clicked and I have a new point but I'm gonna make it curvy so I'm just gonna go up here right over here number three make notes symmetric you notice I have now a symmetrical point I'm gonna turn it like that okay can I adjust this using the shape tool yeah okay I am also gonna duplicate this control D to duplicate so I have another copy so I'm just going to move this down over here all right just going to keep it over here now now that these two objects are path okay I'm gonna select both object let's uh, align them together align them nicely align and distribute so I'm gonna align them to the center of one another sorry maybe align to the bottom and align to the left a bit and close and right now I am going to use the path intersect so path intersect and there we have it a grid done okay this is a bit thicker than the other one okay so I'm gonna this one send to back by pressing pitch down pitch down and they have it the grid okay um, I do not know whether we can adjust the stroke again over here now so say I change the stroke to 10 on the grid see what happens yes we actually can adjust the stroke right so once this is done okay I'm gonna group them but before that I'm gonna align and distribute one more time align to the bottom align to the left and I'm gonna group both objects group together and there you have it the nets okay this has been a next a good episode on the Inkscape tutorial hope you can try this out fast and furious okay thank you enjoy yourself